Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the recipe how to make chole. So this is a chickpea curry. So we need a cup of chickpeas. I have soaked it overnight uh, and after when they're soaked, it looks like this. Then I'm going to cook these choles, which is the chickpeas. So I'm using a pressure cooker. You can use an Instapot as well. So in that I'm putting all the masalas. Uh, and the tea bags into it so two tea bags bay leaves um cloves cardamom cinnamon um all into it and this chole with water make sure you have good amount of water so i'm going to put almost three whistles and after that our chole the chickpea is cooked Make sure you take out the tea bags when they are cooked, okay? So it will look like this. So let's see now what ingredients I need. I need chole masala. I need salt, uh, ginger garlic paste, uh, tomato puree. It should be this consistency if you're using paste. Add some water. Then I have onion paste. So I will show how to make the onion paste. So I have taken some onions, almost a big one, and I'm putting in water and going to boil. When they are transparent like this, they are done. So let it cool down. Once it is cooled down, we will take a grinder and grind it in a fine paste. So it will look like this. So now let's start cooking. So in a pan, I have taken about three tablespoons of oil and I'm going to add the onion paste into it we have to saute this till it separates the oil so this is a very important step because onions has a raw flavor in them so even we have cooked them we have to make sure we have to saute it very nicely so it takes out the oil so it takes almost five to seven minutes so be patient guys so i am going to add ginger garlic paste now so I'm adding almost two tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. So it is very important in chole, this ginger garlic is going to give a really nice flavor. So make sure you add this one. Even ginger and garlic are really good for digestion because chickpeas are a little bit heavy to digest. So again, there is a benefit over here. So let's put the lid and after two minutes, I can see it's a little bit bubbling. So I'm going to add the tomato paste or the puree if you don't have the puree or paste available you can make it from fresh just take the two tomatoes and grind in a mixy and add it now we have to put a lid and let it cook till it separates the oil so yeah you can see here how nicely it is separating the oil so this is something we can consider it's cooked very nicely Okay, let's add the chole masala, which is easily available in the market. You can go to any Indian grocery stores, even in Walmart, you can get this. If you don't have the masala, you can make it home. It, it, it contains coriander powder, cumin powder, garam masala powder, kasuri methi, amchur powder. Let it cook. Let's put a lid. After two minutes, you can see. It's separating more oil and I can smell really nice aroma right now. Add all the chole which we cooked in a pressure cooker. You can use Instapot as well. But you have to check the settings how to cook them. Because I normally cook all my recipes in a pressure cooker. So now stir it well. Let's add salt as per taste. In my chole masala, I have already some salt. I have some red chili powder in it, so I'm, I don't have to add more. But if you mostly if you're buying a chole masala from outside in a package, then you need to add red chili powder right now, okay? And salt as well. So now let it cook for a few minutes. So we are on the almost on the last stage so i'm going to take a smashing smasher and going to smash these choles so that is going to help you to give the consistency for the curry 
so in a small pan i'm taking a little bit of oil again almost two tablespoon and i'm going to add chopped minced garlic into it garlic is a very important ingredient in chole because that gives a really strong flavor and again i told you that it helps for digestion as well so i'm going to add a little bit of chilies a chili or two and roasted cumin i like spicy so i add a little bit more spice into it so i think i'm going to add more i have some ginger garlic paste sitting here so i'm going to add that and a little bit of red chili powder to give a really nice red color i'm using kashmiri tikha so that gives really nice color and it is not even that spicy so let's add this one this is called tadka on our chole so it gives a really nice aroma and in this way the chole are ready so chickpea masala or chickpea gravy or curry is ready so make sure guys you make this recipe let me know in comments how it goes how you like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel because you are going to find out very interesting recipes over here in a very easy way thank you again for watching my video